Hi, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about how to compute confidence intervals in Microsoft Excel. So to start off with, I created two sets, set 1 and set 2. And my goal is to compute the point estimate of the mean and the confidence interval over this point estimate for both of these sets. So the first thing that I'm going to do is compute the sample size of the set. So for set 1, I'm going to use the count function. So I do equals count. And set 1 goes from cells A2 to A101. So I do count A2 to A101. And you can see that my set has sample size 100. Next, I want to compute the sample mean. And for this, I'm going to use the average function. So I do equals average. And again, A2 to A101. All right, so my average, my sample average for set one is 45.19. And then I want to compute my standard deviation. So I do equals. And for this, I'm going to use the standard deviation function in Excel. This is S, T, D, E, V. And there's a few different options. I'm going to use the one ending in A, S, T, D, E, V, A. And this means that I'm computing this over a sample. So I do again A2 to A101. And you see my standard deviation. Next, I want my confidence coefficient. So we're computing a 95% confidence interval. So I'm going to do 0 0.95. All right. And then my significance level. This is just 1 minus the confidence coefficient. So I do equals 1 minus and my confidence coefficient is in cell E6, 0 0.05. All right. Now I want to compute the margin of error. So Excel has a built-in function for this called confidence that I'm going to use. So I do equals confidence. And it has three input parameters. The first is going to be the significance level. So for me, this is in cell E7. The second parameter is going to be the standard deviation. So for me, that is cell E4, comma. And then lastly, uh, the last input parameter is going to be the sample size, and this is cell E2. And close parentheses, enter. And my margin of error is 5.4413, roughly. All right. So, just real quick, um, my goal is to get the point estimate of the sample mean, which I already computed, the point estimate of the mean, which I already computed before. So I'm just going to bring that down. So I do equals E3. All right. Now, if you remember, confidence interval is just your point estimate plus or minus your margin of error. So my lower limit is going to be my point estimate minus the margin of error, which is equals to E10 minus E8, point estimate minus margin of error. And then my upper limit is a margin of error plus, uh, excuse me, the point estimate plus the margin of error. So I do equals E10 plus E8. And there you have it. I have my point estimate 45.19 and I have my confidence interval, the lower limit and upper limit right here. So I'm going to do the same thing for set two. So I'm just going to copy and paste those over here. So now I have the confidence interval and point estimate for both of these sets. From here, let's say I want to plot these point at this point estimate for both set sets, and I want to include the confidence interval in a, in this plot. So to do this, I'm going to use something called error bars. So my first step is to highlight the point estimates that I want to graph. Click insert. I'm going to go to scatter plot. Go down to this option right here, and let me just resize this so we can see a little better. OK. So here's my plot. And as you can see, I have set 1 right here, and this is the point estimate, and set 2 right here, and here's the point estimate. And you can reformat these axes 
and uh, and whatnot as you as you want. So now I want to add in the confidence interval to both of these point estimates. So the first step, I'm going to just click on the points right here and go up to layout, the layout tab, click on it, and then you'll see on the on the right hand side a drop down box called error bars. In some versions of Excel, error bars is not going to be in the layout tab um, in this in this location, but instead once you create the graph, um, you will see in the upper uh, left hand side over in this area here, there should be a drop down box that says something like add chart element, and once you click on that, you will see the error bars uh, drop down box there, so you can do it that way. But for this version of Excel, you click on layout, go to error bars, and then error bar with standard error. I click on that, and as you see, two, two bars showed up here, a horizontal and a vertical. I do not want this horizontal bar, so I'm going to click on those. Once they highlight, click delete and erase them. And then I want to resize these intervals, these error bars, to, uh, to meet my confidence interval size. So what I do here, excuse me, I click until the vertical bars are highlighted. I right click and I go down to format error bars. And this window should pop up. All right. Okay. And then from here, I want to go down to custom, click specify value, and I want to input in my positive error value and my negative error value. So these are just going to be your margin of error. So I'm going to click right here first for positive error value and put that in. All I have to do is highlight once I click that. Same thing for the negative error value. I click right here. I just have to highlight my margin of error for those two sets. Click there. I click OK. Then I will close this. And there you have it. I have my point estimate for both sets my confidence interval, which is a lower limit and upper limit, and I plotted these with the two confidence intervals on the point estimate in the form of error bars.